Gadget Guy here and this is my review of the Kutri FM transmitter and car charger. A sample was provided from my honest and unbiased opinion. Uh, I just wanted to quickly show you um, what the packaging looks like for this. Um, it basically comes in this nice rectangular white box. It's quite nice. Um, the, there's two parts to this product. There's the charging part, which is right here, and then there's the transmitter part. Now, what would be the purpose of this thing would be um, a lot of cars are not really smart uh, smart device enabled so if you wanted to connect your music or connect your phone to the speakers in your car uh, you wouldn't be able to do that very easily unless the car had Bluetooth or some other source like a plug but most of them don't but they do have a cigarette lighter uh, a charger here um, so that's where this comes in it kind of bridges that gap so um, what you have here is this charging device which also has a USB port here so you can actually plug in and charge your phone or your uh, player uh, while you're using it um, with the transmitter so I want to show you that really quickly um, by the way this part here uh, swivels and this is where the transmitter is going to sit on top so it kind of sits on top like that and this is going to transmit a signal to your radio so it's almost like creating your mini radio station let me show you exactly how that works first though. Put this into the uh, cigarette lighter of your car, and I'm in my car right now. And actually, let's see here. I've got to make sure it's fully plugged in there. Okay, there you go. So you see that light here? Kind of see it maybe, it's lit up there. And I'm gonna also plug in my device. I have here an iPod, so I'm gonna plug it into the USB port here. And let's see, yep. Okay, so I'm showing that it's charging right now, so that's great. Not gonna lose any battery. Um, this is the transmitter part, and so I just wanted to show you really quickly before I attach it. It gets charged by this also, so there's a battery in this. Um, so I've already charged a little bit of this. So when I press the top here, I'm gonna turn on, there it is. So it's gonna show you here, um, that's pretty much one of the stations. So I'm gonna turn on the radio right now. And so I've got that station, so it's 105.7. 105.7 is there. I can actually change it by turning this. So if that station is not a good one, I can turn it. See, it's 105.6, 0.5. The problem is sometimes there's already something there, so it'll be interference. You don't want that. Um, the other thing is this has Bluetooth, so it basically is the bridge. So again, I've got Bluetooth here on my iPod, which connects to this. So it's basically sending a signal here, and now this is sending a frequency here. So I'm gonna plug it in now and I'm gonna press play here. So if I turn it up a little bit, you'll be able to hear that. You hear that? So and I, I can control it here too, see? You can actually control it right here too. So let's say I wanna to move to the next track here. So I'm gonna push it down here. So you can see move to the next track right. And let's see if I push this top, yep. So the top here, when I push it, plays it, and I push it again, it pauses it. That's nice. Uh, one thing I do want to point out here, though, is um, if you listen, when my hand kind of moves away from this while it's playing, it gets a little bit staticky when I get my hand closer to it. It's better. So listen. And that, that means you just have to fit, find the right frequency here. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to change this really quickly to... I'm gonna move this up to 161, let's say. So I'm gonna move this up to 161 as well. There you go, same. So the static's a little bit less. Yeah, much better, actually. If I move my hand away, get a little bit of static again. You just have to make sure you find the right station for this. Um, but again, I I think it's a, it's a great device for if you're trying to bridge and trying to get into your car's system, um, if it's an older car. And that's my review of this Kutri FM transmitter and car charger. Uh, I do recommend it. It does have that issue of the static, which kind of bothered me a little bit. So again, if you're okay with that, it is a great way to bridge again, to get your car to use the speakers of that for your phone and for your music device. And thanks for For more details about this video and links and info for the products in the video, please see the video description below and for more videos like this, as well as how-to videos, go to www.gadgetguyreview.com 
subscribe to our YouTube channel, or just click on one of the buttons on the screen. As a top Amazon reviewer, I try to provide useful product videos to show exactly what you're getting, product comparisons, and how things work. See you next time, and thanks for watching.